This is a short example to describe how to create a uh, design section in Structural Bridge Design that has an unbonded pre-stressed tendon. First of all we will start a new single design section and into this I will add some standard properties for concrete and some material for reinforcement and some pre-stressing steel material. Moving on to our design section I'm going to create a single section of parametric shape which is rectangular. Um, this is going to be 500 millimeters wide uh, by uh, one meter deep. I'm going to reference this by its base point and this is going to exist on the origin. And I will assign a concrete material to this shape. For completeness I'm going to just add in some reinforcement. I'm going to reinforce one bar by two covers. They're going to be 20 millimeter bars. And I'm going to click on the corner accept the 50 millimeters cover and repeat this on all four corners. You see that it's automatically picked up the reinforcing material. Before adding the tendons I'm going to add in an, an additional section shape which is also a parametric shape, but this is going to be a circular shape. 100 millimeters diameter, referenced by its center, which is going to exist with an offset of Y of zero, and offset from the soffit by 300 millimeters. In terms of material, I'm leaving this as a void as I want to form a hole in the concrete at this location. Now I can add my single pre-stressed tendon. I'm going to draw the tendon. I'm going to assume this tendon has 13 strands, each of 139 millimeters squared uh, in area. And I'm going to click where I want that to be. Now it has snapped to the grid because the snap point is set to grid and this is exactly where I want it to be at naught and 300. So here is my one single tendon. And when I click on OK it should tell me that the tendon is inside a void element. Um, do I wish to continue? This is because it will assume uh, that these are unbonded tendons. And so that's all there is to defining this kind of section.